So I saw this video when I was scrolling through social media. It was a video of Kim Kardashian and Bianca Sensori. Um, they were um, spotted sitting right next to each other at a listening event for Kanye West. But um, I also know that I think um, North was there and she also performed as well. And so in the video, you can see basically um, both Bianca and Kim um, there were some other clips that I saw on social media as well. The two of them were having dialogue between each other. They were communicating. They were speaking. And basically, they don't have no problem, right? It's just two women sitting down. They have no problem. If you didn't know the backstory, you wouldn't know what kind of correlation the two of them had um, to begin with. You wouldn't even know how they know each other. So there was a lot of women in the comment section who were saying all kinds of stuff. You had a lot of women who were saying stuff like, oh, no, it could have never been me. You know, I'll never sit next to this and that. Or, you know, just 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 a whole bunch of degrading, disrespectful, rude stuff about how, you know, um, how distasteful this is and how dumb it is for the two of them to be sitting next to each other. And the thing is, is that what a lot of women do not understand is that emotional maturity is not an additive or a something that like you want or desire it's a necessity when you have children in the mix when there are children involved it is very vital that you understand it's more than just about how you feel what you think your opinion what you would want to do in certain situations and it's all it's um exposing what is best for them there are a lot of women who are incapable of operating out of emotional maturity. Hence, why whenever there is any kind of camaraderie between the ex-wife and the new wife or, you know, the ex-wife slash mother of the children and the new wife, why people are always in an uproar. There's always comments. There's always going to be comments from the peanut gallery. People that have nothing to do with the betterment of that child who don't care about what you do with your kids, who are not going to be there to support you and to help you in the hard times and the tough time and anything that goes on um, in terms of raising the children that are always going to add these tidbits or this commentary to try to create some kind of animosity between the two women. Which makes absolutely no sense. They like the division. They like the, the, um, the animosity, the problems, the drama. Because they want to be with you and sit down and, and have something to listen to that's entertaining for them. Although it's not entertainment for you because it's your real life. This is what you call evolution emotional maturity and also not even to play this game but to be very honest this is what happens when the woman no longer wants the relationship with the man when a woman does not want to be with the man anymore she has no problem creating a space of peace i'm keep it real Whenever the woman usually feels like she got gypped out of the deal or she wants to be with the man um, or, you know, she's jealous of the new woman or whatever the case is, that's when it's pure chaos. That's when she got the biggest problem. Oh, no, I don't want nobody taking care of her. I don't want her by my kids. I don't want her doing this. I don't want her doing that. That's when she has the most mouth. What's ironic is that, you know, you would think that a woman who is divorced from her family for whatever the case or whatever the situation is, you know, in my personal opinion, it seems like when it came to Kim and Kanye, there were some very thick issues that the two of them had going on, which created the space of a separation, a, a divorce or whatever the case is. He, she moved on. He moved on. You would think that women would want to create a space that says, hmm, my children are going to spend time with their father and they're going to be around this woman. I want to create a space that is comfortable between this woman and I so that I can feel that my kids are comforted and nurtured and they're not looked at side eye based off of the drama that I have going on with this woman. Once this woman is treating your children well, you should ha have no problem. 
And if you do have a problem, you need to take that up with yourself. I'm just keeping it real. What's interesting is that when the women move on, they put that dad in daddy role real quick. Okay, they be having the kids call him dad. You know, he be doing all the dad stuff. He take the kids on like that's his child. Like that's his children. But when the dad moves on, a lot of times the women infiltrate their children's mind to create that distance between the stepmother because, oh, no. You see, you as a dad, you're ir you're replaceable. But me as a mom, I'm irreplaceable. Is that for the betterment of you and your feelings, your emotions, or is that for the betterment of your children? What I always see is when women do stuff like that, it always backfires. It always backfires. Because whenever they set the tone of trying to create that separation of dad and child based on this woman, when that woman goes now and gets into a relationship, it's going to be the same problem. When that child turns around to, to your man that you love so dearly and says, you can't tell me nothing because you're not my dad. Boy, oh boy. That's when all of a sudden you're going to call their dad and say, he shouldn't be talking to him like that. He shouldn't be disrespecting him like that. Tell him. Although you've been doing the opposite. It always backfires because you're creating the space where your children feel that the only people that are important or the only people that they should take advice or listen to is the people who created them. So that's going to matter on your side and on his side. What a lot of women don't understand is that you don't have to like the new person. That's not a part of your ministry. <laughs> You don't have to like her. That don't got to be your best friend. That don't got to be your home girl. That don't got to be your sis. But the maturity level for them to at least sit next to each other. You know, I've seen Bianca a lot of different places where she's even holding the younger children. And you never see Kim nowhere uh, in the comment section about, oh, you know, she need to not hold my kids. She need to put my kids down. My kids have a mother. I don't know if she do it behind the scenes, but you definitely don't see it in public. And we definitely didn't see that here because she could have sat somewhere else if she wanted to. She didn't. You know why? Because she doesn't, she's not going off of what the sisterhood is going to say. She's doing what's best for her family unit. You have a lot of women who are going off of what their homegirls are going to say, what their friends are going to say, because they don't been around bad mouthing the woman all around town. That now they'll look like a fool if they go and sit next to this person. Always trying to please other people. Always trying to appease their friends who don't really care. Never thinking about the betterment of the family. And to be honest, if we're really true, if we want to be really honest, a lot of women wouldn't have to get to the stage where another woman would even be in the picture to support or to help raise or somebody that they have to create peace with if they weren't listening to their homegirls in the first place. That helped them walk about their seat, walk about their family structure. Because, again, they're trying to please other people who don't really care. Couldn't care less. All they want to do is come around you and listen to all your tea. But if you're in the thick of it and you really need help or assistance, you can't call them. That's the reason why, again, this is so unsettling for a lot of women. Why this is so weird or strange for a lot of women. Because they worried about what the sisterhood going to say. What they're going to think. If they're going to call them weak. If they're going to call them whatever, they're worried about the wrong things. Not their family unit, not their family structure, and most importantly, not their kids. This is my opinion. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.